So tell me, did you ever wonder what would happen if you would delete a user that is the owner of a classroom? Yes, of course, you want them to transfer ownership before you delete the account, sure. But have you ever tried? Well, I did, and um, I can tell you, yeah, it's a bad idea. Let me show you. When we delete a user, normally you have the option to transfer ownership of certain things, like files, email, and calendar appointments. But because you cannot actually transfer classrooms this way, I'm going to ignore that for now and just delete this account. Now, if we go to what a student sees, they go to the classroom and the only thing that's a bit weird is that they can see that certain messages and assignments were actually posted by an unknown user. They work in their own file and then they try and hand it in and then they will get this weird error. Then let's switch over to what a teacher can see because maybe there's a fellow teacher in the same classroom. Well, they can see the old assignments, but they cannot actually add and create new ones. The old assignments, they can only grade based on what is in there. Because students cannot hand in new assignments, which is really annoying. But on top of that, it's incredibly frustrating that you can't even transfer the ownership right now. Because when we look within the Google Admin Console, you'll find that you cannot manage these classrooms individually like you can, for example, do this with the shared drive. You'll also find that if you search online, there are a lot of people that have had this issue. And even when you go and look into the Google Classroom APIs, trying to set a new owner of a classroom, this will actually be a problem when you do it through the APIs. Then what are our options? Uh, well, to restore this, uh, first and foremost, if you're on time with that deleted account, as we just did, then it really is a matter of restoring the account, as you can watch in one of our videos on how to do. Then you have access to the account again, the classroom will continue to work and your students can hand in their assignments or the fellow teachers are able to create new assignments within the classroom. But of course, you then want to still transfer the ownership. So I presume you will take one of the fellow students of the previous teacher and then assign the classroom to them. But you also want to prevent this in the future, right? So how do you do that? First and foremost, please make sure that your teachers know that it's best to transfer the ownership of the classrooms as well, besides any relevant school material and learning material. But that's one. The other tip that I want to give you is to create a service account. In this case, I'll have an example of a backup at cooldemo.com. And the reason for a backup account, a service account like this, when we do it this way, you will always be managing one account that you as an admin can access. If a teacher doesn't know what account to transfer to, then just pick the backup account. This service account will then be available to you even when the teacher leaves your organization and you can then transfer the ownership to whoever fits it best. I hope you liked this video. And if there's anything you would like us to cover, let us know in the comments down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.